One item that could have the biggest impact, though, is the municipal broadband program. This would help towns, villages, and cities create their own internet service and supplement traditional providers. Well, from a community broadband perspective, New York's is looking pretty good. Sean Gonzalez covers broadband developments across the country for the Institute of Local Self-Reliance. By virtue of creating space for municipal broadband, which really provides an alternative, and we believe at the Institute for Local Self-Reliance, a, a locally accountable, publicly owned networks are, are really the best shot to, to, to solve the digital divide. This could allow projects like ErieNet or the municipal program being proposed in Jamestown to receive additional funding from the state. This is on top of already allocated funds municipalities received from the American Rescue Plan. The state opening up the bandwidth, so to speak, is one area where Governor Hochul is differentiating herself from her predecessor. It's a big shift. So under the Cuomo administration, he tried to stymie any effort for municipalities to create uh, their, their own systems. Under the Hochul administration, uh, she, she's open to that. Governor Cuomo dedicated $500 million back in 2015 for a broadband program that claimed to ultimately connect 98% of the state. The Hochul administration dedicating a billion dollars to broadband in New York is an indication that there's still much work to be done, and they intend to finish it. But certainly New York is one of the leading states in terms of, of, of making a sizable investment in a very serious way. The one thing this bill stops short of is calling broadband a utility, which would open it up to regulatory oversight by the Public Service Commission. Senator Ryan says lobbyists fought hard, hard against that and won this round, but he's already introduced legislation that plans to address that in the future. In the Information Center, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.